All right, so in order to start taking handwritten notes on your Windows PC, the first thing you'll be needing is a pen tablet. I'm using this one by Wacom called the Wacom One. This one is basically an entry level pen tablet, but if you're looking for something more advanced, then I'll be leaving all the links in the description. All right, so first things first, when you finally get your tablet, you first need to connect it to your computer, of course. And since we are on Windows, we of course need the drivers and they are really annoying to be honest. So they have this app called Wacom One. We can just download that and it will automatically download all the drivers for you. So this will basically look something like this. I have two monitors so it's detecting that I will be just selecting a single monitor of mine because I don't want to navigate between them you can use your pen tablet both in landscape as well as in portrait mode you can basically adjust the orientation using this app as well and also you can adjust the pen sensitivity and pressure sensitivity and stuff so now we'll be taking a look at few of the apps that you can use so my name is Prithviraj and let's dive right in also one more thing I need to point out this video is totally unscripted I'll be doing everything in front of you real time so yeah, you'll get to see how my experience is in real time. One thing that really surprised me that we have goodness for Windows. I'm really keen on checking that out. So we'll be coming to that a little later. And these are the options we have basically. All right, whenever I make a video on the best note taking apps, people always come and bro, you missed one note, one was yeah, one note. Here is it. So we are now in Microsoft OneNote. This is basically a default app by Microsoft. So let's see how the handwriting experience is on this app. Let's try this out, man. Not bad. This is actually good because yeah it is this is not what you think it's Doraemon actually la, 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 la. this kind of looks like it yeah it has issues with palm recognition like i'm not writing anything but it's still happening ah this is really disappointing it's basically happening because of my palm touching on the tablet so that's really bad let's try some other features that it has this is my first time using a uh, handwritten note taking apps on windows so it's feeling a little bit weird but the writing experience is actually really nice i'm not facing any lags and stuff so let's see what other pen options we have all right so we have different pens and what is this bro are you serious Wow, this is so nice, man. Why didn't I discover this before? Make sure you hit the subscribe button, by the way. This pen is amazing, I must say. So this is my rating about this app. Overall, it has all the things you need. You can like organize in folders and stuff. You can also change the page layout. And also you have this rainbow pen. So that's something you should keep in mind. If you ask me to rate out of 10, I must give this a total eight and a half. It's actually really good, but it has a bit of learning curve. So that's why I gave it a eight and a half rating. But other than that, you can actually use OneNote. So if you have been commenting about OneNote, then here it is. All right, since we're using a Wacom tablet, we're going to test out the default app by Wacom called Bamboo Paper. So let's see how it actually works. So you can actually create new notebooks like this. This way you'll be able to like organize your notes into different folders. You can like buy different covers as well if you want. And it really opens nicely like a book. Let's name this test. This app is pretty simple. It has only the basic stuff like pen, eraser and your color palette and stuff. Now let's see how the writing feels. Let's try this now exclamation 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 it kind of feels stuttery but it feels good so you can also import your photos over here for example let me import this photo of mine where i'm using good notes for android and i like to move it move it this one is pretty much simple and sweet so if you're looking for something that will get you the basics done if you just need to take notes and nothing else and maybe add a few photos then this is a very simple and straight to the point app it has almost no learning curve you just have to take your pen and start writing so so that's something i really like note taking apps should be simple no complications are required if you ask me to rate this one i'll give it a total eight so this is very much simple so you have everything covered when it comes to the basic stuff but if you want something advanced then it might be lacking in that aspect i really like this app on my ipad it's a very good app for brainstorming and stuff so it's called concepts so let's create a new drawing over here so the best thing about this app is this color wheel over here this can be so satisfying just take a look at it ah <sighs> scribble uh what just happened bro really it's kind of disappointing me so far i think i need to decrease the pressure sensitivity when i am like drawing this stuff as you can see it's getting bulged out so yeah, this can be actually a good app if you're looking to like brainstorm your ideas and all, but I won't really recommend for taking notes as the in-hand writing feel is not that good. So 
yeah i'll have to rate this a uh, 5 out of 10 if you just want to brainstorm ideas and stuff you can use this app like just planning out stuff and jotting your thoughts down so this can be a good tool for that i rather would have rated it even lower but just because of the color wheel i'm rating it at 5 draw board pdf so this is something new i haven't tried this out before this kind of took a while to load up actually i must point that out Previously in my videos I have mentioned out there are two types of writing experience first is someone who likes to write really fast like myself second type is of the people who like to write really slow and focus on their handwriting my handwriting is not worth focusing so I really like to write really fast so in that aspect it kind of feels weird it's not the smoothest experience but you do have a lot of options and I really like the left panel to add new pages and let's try to like change the page layout a bit and we can write with a white colored pen don't tell me the white color is behind a paywall nope okay we can we can write with using white color yeah thank god i already like it more now just because of the black background so yeah this one is a solid 7 out of 10 if you are looking for something more advanced stuff then you can check this one out and i think you can import your pdfs as well you can open your books and stuff like this so that's good if you were looking for something simple then bamboo paper was a better option but if you need something more advanced then i think this one can do the job for you all right so now let's address the elephant in the room good notes so previously i made a video about how much i hated good notes for android cause many things were actually missing in that app that we already have on the ipad version so let's now compare it with the windows app let's see what all we have all right so first things first this actually synced with my Samsung Galaxy Tab like these were the notes i created on my Samsung device which is an android device of course and it already synced with it so good notes you have my attention already now let's see this is a pdf i opened on my Samsung Tab so we already have that so obviously you can take book notes this way and take highlight stuff if that's something you need if you're a student now let's open a note of mine and wow it totally imported everything <laughs> that i had on my Samsung Tab so let's create a new page And let's try out the writing experience over here. All right, so let's just zoom in a bit. And speed is all I need. So the writing wise, it's actually the kind of app I want. It's really fast and smooth. This has to be a game changer, I must say. Thanks for doing this, good notes. But the Windows one is still comparatively better. But it's still nothing in comparison with the iPad version. Like that is the best. That is goated totally. And you have all the other functionalities. Like you can like select and move them around. can even add sticky notes for example let me create a sticky note over here okay that's nice we can set a cover for different notes of our so we can customize it a lot as per our liking we also have the shape builder tool over here so we can like make stuff with random shapes over here Yeah this I don't know what it looks like but it looks like something I don't know is it lagging yep yep it surely is lagging so what is upon it again all right so we can also add text over here in the ipad version we have a dedicated text tab so we don't have that yet both on android as well as windows so that's again sad but we have all the basics that good notes 5 used to offer so many things of good notes 6 is actually missing but uh, yeah it has all the basic stuff of good notes 5 and the writing experience is really nice i have to say use this man this has so many things this will be really helpful so this basically has all the options you might be needing and it also has this like pointer feature so you have two options so if you have to give a presentation or something you have this pointer you get the idea so you can use this one else you can use this dotted one so that you it becomes basically like your pointer finger like if you want to quick read through your books or something like that and the other one is mostly for presentations and stuff so let's take a look at the good notes marketplace now let's still in beta you have a lot of options like you can get a many custom themes kind of thing of your covers and stuff we have diwali themed stuff and also some sticky notes and covers and uh Uh, monthly trackers and stuff but you're only going to get access to that if you get the subscription so you have to keep that in mind so how much is my rating for this one i was actually planning to rate this 9.5 but after seeing the crash i think it's still a wine skin version kind of thing i'll rate this 8.5 as well disappointed with good notes again but i'm actually happy that we at least have that because the android version of good notes is only available for samsung devices and i don't know why you can only get that on the galaxy store if you have a oneplus tab realme tab xiaomi tab you are not going to get good notes for android but at least if you have a pc you can get access to good notes for windows that way so which one should you use if you want to get started if you're looking for a free app then i must say you should check out one note cause it had a really great writing experience since it's a default app by microsoft and you can like basically categorize everything in folders and stuff if you just need to take notes and nothing else you need no fancy stuff bamboo paper is a better option but if you're looking at the future and you want to future proof your notes then in that case good notes is actually a better option cause if you pay for the subscription you'll be able to basically sync between all your devices if you have an android tablet and ipad 
that or whatever you have but in case if you have an android tablet and you're looking for the best apps you can use then click here please consider subscribing to my channel for more such videos thanks for watching and i hope to see you there